All right, what's up, guys? Evan here, Folk Creek Outdoors, and today we're coming at y'all with a brand new video. So, let's see. It's five days away from deer season. Five days. Yeah, I got body. We got body mics now. So now y'all can't hit us up in the comment and be like, "We couldn't hear anything you're saying." Well, you can hear us now. So it's five days away here in West Virginia, and. There's a lot of controversy going around in the hunting industry of what's the best way to be more mobile because we all know as deer hunters, the more mobile you are, the better chance you got, especially if you're hunting a lot of public land. If you don't have, you know, the room to, you don't have private, you don't have the ability to say, let's go hang four or five tree stands. You don't have that ability. So you, you ask, you like, man, what's the best way that I can get started or what's the way that i can be really really budget and get a mobile hunting setup so i think that i have figured this out and i'm going to show y'all this mo now this in my opinion is the cheapest possible way now this is the saddle way of going now you can use climbers you can go to walmart and get a cheap tree stand but there's two or three ways you can actually use to um get mobile but this is the way i chose i've used uh last season i used the climber i mean it's all right it's kind of bulky it's hit or miss i mean if that's what you got i mean use what you got but to me i think that the saddle is the best option so i got on amazon and i started looking over the summer i was like what's the cheapest possible way that i could go and not get something dangerous disclaimer don't get on eBay and buy something that you're going to fall out of. Do your research. And after a lot of research, I found that the cheapest saddle was this one right here. This is the XOP, I think, Renegade saddle. It's uh, I might be able to throw a picture of it up on the screen. It's like $194 bucks on Amazon, uh, which this string right here came with this. I think this thing weighs in right at uh this the platform weighs in right at five pounds so i mean that's pretty light i mean as you can see i mean one hand and i'm holding this i mean that's pretty light and uh pretty much this is going to be the review at the start of this season but i figured i'd go ahead and throw this on here for y'all just to kind of show y'all and i'll review it today also but i mean for the price i mean it's a pretty beefy platform I mean, as y'all can see i mean it's not I mean, they didn't cheat out of making it, but at the platform, I mean, I could see where they could make it lighter, but to me, I think it's very good because, you know, most people don't have the money. They could just say, okay, I'm going to go buy me a, a latitude saddle tomorrow. You know I mean? That's eight, $900. I mean, that's a lot of money to put into a saddle system. When this right here is $194, um, what else you get with that? You get uh three sets of ropes, which I'll demonstrate how to use those uh after we get over this part. Uh you get three sets of ropes. Uh actually you just get uh they're all the same, they're pretty much lineman's belts, but as I said, I'll demonstrate you get your little carabiner, you know, you can hook this on your belt and anything you want to do, you know, what it what what have you, you can hook it on your belt. Um also Here's the most important part is the saddle. Now, I did do a few modifications to mine to make it more fit me. When you buy this saddle, it does come in as a tree stand slash saddle harness. But what I did, I just uh, cut the actual harness, tree stand harness, and just made it a saddle. And I'll show y'all real, I'll demonstrate y'all real quick how I put this on pretty much what you do is uh, this right here is your this is your belt this is your main belt right here this is what's going to hold you up in the tree and what i do you just step both feet through it like you're putting on a harness you just pull it up and then uh, you got two little hooks i'll turn around and show y'all y'all got you got two little hooks right here and uh, you just take this and uh, there'll be a little little spot right here there's a little like hook right here on your harness and you just take it and hook it up and pretty much what it'll do is it kind of it'll sit back when you're in the tree it'll sit back like this and uh 
this part of your rope is the tightness, you know, how tight you want it or how loose you want it. And you're pretty much going to be sitting like this. Now make sure not to put it too high on your uh, bottom. Make sure to try to put it at the right height. And keep it to where if, you know, you don't want it so high it's pulling back on your back, but you don't want it so low that it's got you like this, you know. You kind of got to find that happy medium to where you want it to be. So, but that's kind of the saddle. And now you're asking, now how am I supposed to get up in the trees? So I also went there. I was like, let this car go by. I'm on my porch. So if you hear cars and stuff, that's why. And I was also asking myself, I said, what's the most budget way that, you know, you can get off the ground. And there's a lot of ways to go. I mean, you got sticks. You can do, you know, there's a lot of ways you can go. But um, I hunt mostly private land, which means you can use these right here. Let me grab one. I've got uh, two different kinds. These are screw-in steps. So pretty much if you don't know what these are, you just take them, screw them in the tree, and you pretty much got steps. They weigh in probably, I'd say, a few ounces a piece. I mean, they're pretty light. And you can get, um, I think I got an eight-pack of these on Amazon for like, 15 20 bucks and you can go to walmart and get these for two dollars a piece so it's pretty you know it's a pretty budget friendly i mean this right here i'd say this whole setup cost me about 225 240 bucks i mean pretty budget friendly setup to me i mean i don't think you can go any cheaper than this i don't know any setup on the market and if y'all guys do please let me know i would love to review it but to me overall just the price point for the first part of this video i think that it's great i mean you're for 240 bucks i mean average to what i paid because it was 194 for the actual saddle setup and then i bought some of those sticks so i mean for the price that you're paying i mean have i used this in the woods yet no but for my overall review i think it's a great starter setup or if you're like me and you know you don't want to blow a bunch of money on it and you're just like you know i want to try this and see if i like it i also think it's a great setup that you could use so we're going to get this on we're going to go pick us out a tree down here and we're going to do the most important part we're going to demonstrate because i can say all i want about this but we're going to have to demonstrate and actually i've used it a few times haven't really got adjusted to it but i figured why not bring y'all along with me today demonstrate on how i like to do it maybe some tips and tricks that'll help y'all along the way so we're gonna go find a tree and uh, try this bad boy out to the tree now on to the saddle part so let's say we're in a hunting scenario like i told y'all but we're gonna go as if we've already put the sticks in the tree it's time to get the saddle in so first thing i want to do always make this a habit check your ropes i know these are brand new but does it hurt me to check these and to still make sure that they're safe no so the first thing i'm going to do on this side i've got a clip so i'm just going to unscrew this i'm going to unclip it off off of my saddle i'm going to unclip this off my saddle like this angle y'all down a little bit and now I'm gonna put this on. So all I'm gonna do, don't do like I just did and put it on backwards the wrong way. Now I will tell y'all now, these are a hassle to put on in the woods. So try your best if you can if you can help it to put it on in the stand. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the carabiner back around, hook it on once again. But all you wanna do, always make sure to screw this, guys. This part right here. You can see, just screw that in because that right there, that's what it's made for. It's made to hold you in. Now, as you can see, I've got two leg straps right here. I'll we'll have to untighten these a little bit. And there's a uh, this little hole right here on your saddle. As you can see, this right here is where this one's at. It's where you're going to do is just take your leg straps around. Make sure they're not twisted because I promise... It's like a harness. If you have twisted leg straps, you will not make it long in the tree. So you're just going to pull it up to where you want it at. Then you're just going to hook it in. Pretty self-explanatory there. You know, you're just going to hook it in. 
And then you don't want to put it too tight, like tight, so tight it's cutting off circulation. But you want it tight enough, you know, that if something would happen and you would slip and fall, you know, there's no danger of uh, you being injured. So you just want it pretty decently tight. I like mine about, you know, not really so tight. Just barely tight enough you can feel it. And I'll give you all, this is what it should look like on the back. You know, it should look like this right here. So now, you may be asking, what's the next step? So let's say, for instance, always make sure. And uh, so when you're going up the tree, this is rule number one. Always make sure you're grounded. Because how many people, and this is hanging tree stands, anything you can do. From the time your feet leave this ground, you need to be grounded in this tree. So, what do you, now, you may be asking, Evan, what should I do to do that? Well, this is where this lineman belt, this lineman's belt, can be used for hanging tree stands or anything like that. You just take it around the tree, and sometimes you got to unloosen it, and all you want to do to do that is I'm going to pull this out of this little, I had it twisted up a little bit. And all you want to do is just pull this knot right here. You just want to pull this knot back. And when you pull this knot back, it'll unlo it'll loosen it up. And see, now my rope's bigger. And all I'm going to do is take it around the tree. And at this point, it's all perspective on how far you want to be from the tree. You know, some people like me, I'm a bigger guy. I like to be kind of farther away from the tree, more room to move, but I want to show y'all that you can trust this. So once you do this, you just want to tighten up your rope, and I'm just going to show y'all, look, I mean, it'll do the same thing in the tree. No hands, this is holding me, and I'm a pretty big guy, so they did an A1 job on, the, on these ropes, so that is, I mean, everything so far, I give it an A+, plus, but these ropes, I mean, they did not settle i mean these are great excellent ropes so overall you know this is what you want you want to be when you're climbing up the tree this is how you want to be this makes it where you have two hands and you are locked in this tree at all times so now on to the saddle how to put your saddle in the tree so now let's say you are putting a saddle in the tree. Now, I'm going to show y'all how to put the saddle in the tree before we go to anything about ropes. And I'm going to move y'all a little bit closer. Let me find a spot. I can set y'all up just a little bit closer. All righty. Right there. That's where y'all are going. And at this time, I'm just going to strap this back on my belt. Just going to strap this back on. So what you're going to want to do as if you want to put this, always remember when hanging tree stands, saddles, anything like this, always put it where you are stepping over into this. You never want to be stepping on top of it. Like, let's say, if here's your sticks, if your sticks go to here, you don't want your tree stand here. If your sticks go to there, you want your tree stand about right here where you're stepping over into that tree stand. It is a whole lot safer that way, and you're not going to be leading to injuries. So. What I want to do is if I was with my, actually, I'll, I'll just for demonstration purposes, I'll do it with my lineman's belt just to show y'all how you would want it done in the woods. It's pretty much, I'm just going to hook in. Once I, once I hook in, I'm just going to screw it in. And alrighty, there we go. Please excuse the truck coming by because as I said, I'm filming at my house today, so there's going to be a lot of cars coming by. Sometimes you will have to pull this thing up because it doesn't got a buckle right here. That's kind of a part that I don't like, but hey, you get what you get. So if I was in a hunting scenario, I was putting this in a tree. So I'm going to use, I'm going to act like I was hanging off the sticks. What I would do is I would just push this in and I would uh, grab onto the tree. I would just don't do that. See, that's one part that I'll tell y'all not being so used to a platform but always like always when you are uh hanging this up just take it and when you get it what you have to do is always remember hook it right here off the little strap you hook it in there and you take it and i just like to take my body 
and almost take my stomach and hold it against the tree or whatever you know whatever you got and always make sure that you want this little strap right here pulling away from the tree you always want that pulling away from the tree never into the tree so just gonna clip that on there and oh, guys i really want y'all to pay attention right here because this is crucial always make sure that your strap is higher than your you know your stand you never ever ever want this to be lower than your stand because that could lead to an injury so now i'm just going to fix this up and i'm going to pull this strap as tight as i possibly can you know now i'm going to bring it down a little bit and i'm going to unhook my lineman's belt because now y'all kind of got the gist of that part of the video i'm going to unhook my lineman's belt and this is a very, very, very crucial that y'all know this. When you are doing something like this, I'm gonna pull it down a little bit easier so it's easier for me to get in it. When you're doing something like this, you wanna pull this as tight as you possibly can. Then you're gonna take this platform, push it against the tree, and tighten it even more. I mean, as tight as you possibly can. And then you're asking Evan, well, how are you just getting the platform now? So now you're going to straighten it up just how you want it. And anytime you feel slack, keep on tightening. And then take your weight and push. And as you can see, now those teeth are in the tree. Now, the good thing about these saddles is there's a little screw right here on the bottom that you can unscrew and it'll help you push your platform down if you wanted it to lower or you wanted it angled higher everybody's got their preference there i like mine kind of flat that's where i wanted at so now we're at, after that part i like to just take the strap just kind of throw it behind the tree out of the way so next step actually getting in the platform so the first step you want to do now at this part i'm off the ground anytime you're off the ground i don't care if you're three to four feet always be strapped because three or four feet could really injure injure you so always make sure you're strapped in and i know me and hayden like to joke around but guys really safety is the first priority because nobody wants to be making hospital trips when it's time to be hunting so i'm gonna angle this camera up because it'll get a little bit higher when i step up in here now i want you to see you got a little clip right here so what i like to do is just clip it on my belt loop i'm gonna Hook into this tree with my lineman's belt. I'm going to unscrew it. Hook in with my lineman's belt. Next step is tightening this to where I need it to be. Now I'm going to step onto the platform. Now do remember, hold on me angle y'all up a little bit i know y'all can't see me i'm sorry if the footage ain't is right on today let me angle y'all up for y'all can see but as y'all could see the way i got into the tree stand so now i'm gonna step back up onto the platform i'm gonna squat down i'm gonna pull this up a little bit and now i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna hook into my lineman's belt and I'm going to show y'all a demonstration of how this is going to work. Now, this isn't the actual saddle part. This is just, you know, how to get in your saddle. But as you can see, right here, guys, I'm leaning back. I'm in no danger at any time here. So now on to the actual saddle lounging part. So in this bag, you get three ropes. They're all different sizes. Uh, you can really pick and choose which one you really want to use. But I chose, like I said, it's all preference on what you want. See, here's the other two ropes. What you're going to want to do to actually get into the saddle part. So you're going to take this other rope. And as you can see, there's a hole right here. So you're going to take this around the tree and bring it through this hole now when doing this you want to make sure you pull it past this knot 
and pull this snug to the tree because this is what is going to be holding you on this tree. I'm kind of a taller guy, so I'm going to want it about right in here. So now is when I'm going to unhook from my from my uh from the um heart from the lineman's belt off the tree. And now, well, you leave your lineman's belt on the tree. I'm sorry, I was mistaken there. You leave your lineman's belt on the tree. And as you can see, there's a rope going around, you know, the rope that holds you on the tree with your lineman's belt. So what you're going to want to do, take this, bring it up the tree, and take this rope and go ahead and hook to it now. So I'm going to just unhook from my lineman's belt with contact on the tree. Always make sure to keep contact on the tree at all times. I'm unhooking. I'm going to hook it here. I'm staying close to the tree. And now I'm going to hook. You're going to hook right in the middle of this. Okay. And then at this point, you're going to tighten it or whatever so you may have. So now I'm going to tighten it up. I'm going to tighten it up real quick. Now do remember these ropes are kind of hard and to get used to. You know, they're not the easiest easiest thing in the world. But once you get used to them, they're pretty easy, but mine they are they are very very hard to get used to. I'm not going to lie to you there. These ropes are not the easiest thing in the world as you can see. I'm struggling with it right now as we speak. And that's also another flaw to this saddle is the um, the hooks to your legs. I can see that being a flaw because, you know, I'm in a tree and these things are coming loose, okay? And let's say, you know, it's it's a cold morning and you got your stuff. You know, you don't want to be worrying about this. You're trying to get set up because it could be close to daylight. I mean, any time of the year. I mean, this is a serious issue. And I feel like, and, and, and do keep in mind, we are not sponsored by XOP or anything. And I think they're a great company. But I'm just giving y'all my honest opinion on what I think they can improve. So what I'm doing now, I'm just tightening up my one of my ropes. And now I'm going to take this rope and tighten it to the tree. So now I am hooked into this, so there is no danger. And now I'm just taking it, I'm tightening it up to the tree. I'm just gonna take this and tighten it up to the tree and get it about to the height I would prefer. And there you go. You are saddle hunting right here. And um, you wanna kind of straighten it up to where you wanna be kind of set it at the height you want and what I like to do is once I'm in take my ropes and just kind of twist them around because surely to goodness you don't want to get one of these caught in your cams because that would not be a pretty sight for sure so I'm in the saddle now so now I can give my honest review um I feel this is a great budget saddle you know I mean it gets the job done for sure is it the top of the line? No, I do I do not agree with that. Is there things that I think could be improved on this saddle? Yes, but you're also you're paying $195 for it. This is a budget saddle, you know, this is made for budget types of things. But I like it and I think this is a great way. Like I said, if you don't got a lot of extra money to spend and you want to get started in saddle hunting, you can't beat this right here. So, I guess this is about all I got for this video, and let us know in the comments. Do y'all like these type of review videos? Because me and Hayden aren't sponsored at the moment, so we're going to try to be as honest to y'all as we can. Make sure to let us know, as I said. Let us know what type of videos y'all want to see as the viewers, and we will try our best to produce. But hopefully, Saturday morning, we'll get a real tryout on this, because hopefully I'm going to be shooting me a doe with my Matthews. Hayden went to pick up his new bow today. We'll have his new bow video coming very soon. So you're not going to want to miss out. And make sure to like and subscribe, guys, because deer season is here. And I'm telling you now, we have a lot of bucks that we have really been blessed to get on camera. 
And when I tell y'all, y'all are not going to want to miss out on the 2023 Deer Tour. It is going to be one for the books. And trust me when I tell y'all. But I guess for this video, that's all I got. Make sure to keep God number one, hunting number two. Follow us on all of our social medias. Follow us on Instagram at Oak Creek Outdoors Official. And follow, follow me on TikTok at Mr. Turkey Killer and Hayden at Mr. Deer Killer. And I, next time I see y'all, have an old bow in her hands and it'll be time to go four days away in West Virginia. But I'm Evan with Oak Creek Outdoors, signing out.